All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can deploy our Vue.js project so we can see it on in a browser and it's online and everything. So we're going to convert everything in here uh, to uh, do a build and then have everything uploaded. So first things first, stop your terminal from your npm run serve so you have uh, so it's not running. So we can start using the terminal for this specific part. Now, you need to do a search for Vue.js uh, deploy, and this will get you to the page called deployment. Uh, like this, or you can just type it in up here, that's fine as well. But these are the different ways we can start deploying our Vue.js. So we can do it locally, we can uh, add chorus, we can do PDA, we can do GitHub pages and GitHub labs and so on, GitLab pages, many different things, Netlify, uh, and down here we have Firebase. And I'm going to use this because we're already using Firebase, right? Since we set everything up with a database and so on. First thing we need to do is we need to do an npm install dash global dash or just g uh, Firebase tools. So copy this, go to this, make sure you're in the uh, uh, in your correct library, and then you do. For me, I need to do sudo because uh, I need to punch in a password for my terminal. Maybe you don't need that. Uh, Mac users probably might have to. PC users probably not. But make sure you install this and just break break. I'll pause this video until you have it installed and then come back. Great. So once this is installed, we're going to do a Firebase init. Uh, so kind of like your Git uh, init when you're doing when you're starting to upload to a repository for the first time. I'm, I'm prompted right now with authentication because I haven't logged in. Um, if you're logged in, then you won't have this one. So I'm just going to do a Firebase login, and then it's going to ask me a few questions. Do you want to allow Firebase? Uh, yes, I do. So it opens up a window, and if it doesn't open, just go to a browser. It should be there. And then click the user you want to use and then allow whatever they're doing. So you have this successfully logged in for Firebase. This will also state success in here if you logged in correctly. Groovy. So I'm just doing clear again. And we need to do Firebase in it again. So uh, because now we're logged in and that prompts with us with this specific one here. So we have a few different things we want to do. But what we want to do is hosting, which is also stated here. So we want to be doing hosting, right? So select a default project for your or project for your project. That's great. So how to just wait to spell it. So we're going to go down to hosting, click space. So it's marked with green. Uh, I want to use hosting, and I want to do uh, a, a public repos public directory. Uh, but before actually, uh, you're probably once you click using a, an existing, you're going to be prompted to select or create a new um, project. And for, it's already attached to this project here for me. That's why it didn't ask me. But you should choose the one you have uh, as where your database is in Firebase. You already set it up, so you should just be able to use an existing and then pick the one you have attached with all your databases and everything. Right. So once this is done, um, you are at this specific point where I am, and then it asks, do you want to use your public directory? And if we go back here, set your public directory to a dist instead of. So we're not going to use the public one as a standard. We're going to create one called dist. And I want to configure it as a single page application. Yes, and I already did this once, so I'm going to override everything. You probably wouldn't be this you won't see uh, already exists, so just forget about that. So now Firebase is initialized and it's ready to do whatever we want it to. Now we're connected to Firebase, right? Uh, and to the specific uh, console. You can also just create a new one if you want to do a test. Uh, so I have one here called View Test, where I just did a new and had nothing, and then just choose it and uploaded it to it. It's it's not super uh, tricky. But we set this up and yes, yes, now we're done and we have all these things. You can go through these if you want to, but I don't really want to. Next thing we want to do is we want to do an npm run build uh, for our project. So npm run build. So similar to our npm run serve where we can test it in our browser and while we're working. So npm run build takes all your view files, all your CSS files, plugin you installed, uh, all the things you have done within the project, and then it uh, converts it into JavaScript files, to CSS files, to an HTML file. So there's only one HTML file in this case. And it creates a folder called dist up here. So up here you can see your CSS files, there's some weird names, it has a cool name, I can't remember when it does it with the numbers. So it's different every time, and it has CSS, we have your images, and we have our font types, and we have our index page, right? So 
Now that is this is now being built uh, and we are ready to start actually uploading it. So the next part is do a Firebase deploy and then we can do dash dash only hosting. Um, when we do this, I tend to see a few errors. Sometimes it doesn't do it correctly. So as I state down here, if you want other Firebase CLI use, you can just do a uh, Firebase deploy. So let's just do a Firebase deploy without the deploy like this. Without, did I spell it correctly? I did. Uh, without the dash dash only. Um, so this will upload our files to uh, Firebase as well, so we can actually access them online. So we have two different things. We have a console, we can open one of those, and we have an API. So let's just do a, a correct click, command click, there we go. So this is actually the online version. It's no longer a local host, as you can see over here. This is a weird name though, but that's all right. But we can do a login. So let's try and see bagel, bagel. Yes, that is what I want to log in as. So yes, the login still works. We can still do a delete. Great, that still works. So we have connection to Firebase. Can we do add? Some muffins, not muffins, some bagels, that's 40. Let's go to orders, so we can see we have three nothings here, so all our functionality still works. We can still switch between these. Can we archive? That's 2140. Let's do an archive, 2189. So we still have all our functionalities that we already created uh, through our app, that, but it's just online now. That's how easy it, is, it actually is. Um, if your, uh, this link doesn't work, sometimes I've seen this, you can go into your project here on Firebase and click hosting. And it might take you a little while, be, uh, there we go. Um, so now you can actually, you can see I did a few deployment tests. Uh, so, uh, but up here you have your, you can use this link here uh, or this link here if it doesn't work when it just reloads the page from in here. Sometimes I see it, it's not a lot, but sometimes. Uh, but this will also give you a link to the actual um, to the page. But that's how easy, uh, I say, uh, it is to start deploying your, uh, your view projects to, for example, like Firebase, or if you want to do it to some of the others, Netlify or whatever you want to use, uh, you can do that. The thing is, if you're doing Firebase and you're just doing this for fun, to learn, to do things, then what we've done in this uh, project here is fine. But if you want to do commercial, if you want to sell and things like this, you probably need to look into things like Spark, so commercializing your Firebase and all, so on and so on. And so you have all the functionalities and you're sure you're not uh, doing things you shouldn't. But yeah, uh, so we did, deployed our project and congratulations hopefully.